Folks, JD here, and today we've got something a little bit different again, bringing the FPV racers back to the channel. So today we're looking at this. This is the Ishin QX65. It's a 65mm mini whoop FPV racer, and it looks really nice. It's got a bit more attention to detail this guy has than some of the other, other mini whoops that we've seen on the channel. So starting at the front, we have a 720p uh, camera working our way back. We have a really stylish body with a lot of variation holes to the back. We have four coreless brushed motors, uh, but even though they are brushed, I think they're going to give us quite a little bit of power just from the testing that I've done just before this flight. We do have two antennas, one for the FPV relay and one for the quadcopter itself. Now this does require that you use your own transmitter with it, so I've gone for my FlySky, uh, so the receiver I've gotten here is the FlySky receiver. Other receivers are available when you do come to purchase this. For more information, have a little look in the description. Here it is. It's tiny. It really is small. It really is nice. It's got a really standout colour, so even when you're flying it in a green environment like this, it should be able to be seen quite easily. So what I've done is I've set up my FPV rig, and we're going to get some FPV from this as well. Then a little while later, because I've got four batteries with me today, uh, I'm going to be switching over and doing a bit of FPV myself. Uh, so with that, folks, Let's take her up. Now, this flight is going to be a little bit more involved than usual. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch all the switches on the fly sky up to where they should be. Let's power on the transmit. Actually, no, before I do that, I've got to get a battery because I just it just occurred to me that I don't have a battery in this yet. So let's pop a battery in like that. Now these batteries do fit quite snugly um, and there shouldn't be a problem with it coming out mid-flight uh, but if you are a little bit concerned about the battery or about the, the way that it's, the quadcopter is balanced bring her back down and then uh, rebalance her maybe put an elastic band around it and then take her back up but it should be okay right so we're bound let's just there we are, perfect. So we've got, I just changed some of the settings from arm and disarm to uh, auto arm and auto auto disarm through beta flight because it was something that I wanted to try out for this flight. Uh, so as we saw in the first video, it's all configured. We're all set to go. Uh, the gyro is all pre-configured as well. So with that folks, let's take this one up. Let's take her up for a little flight. <laughs> oh, she's light. She is light. She wants to fly. She really does want to go. So this is, I am new to FPV racers of this quality. Uh, I've normally stuck with the toy grade FPV racers, um, but these I'm starting to get into. So please, please bear that in mind when, <laughs> before you comment and say, oh, you can't fly for toffee. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm getting there with these guys. It's a learning curve but it's something that I'm extremely prepared to uh, to do. But she's, she seems to have the ability. Oh, and once you bank her, that's amazing. Oh, see her dip then? If you give her more than half throttle, obviously you can alter the throttle responses. That's something I haven't done. But um, as soon as you give her half throttle, wow, she dips. She wants to go. You bank her then and she just, oh. Oh, she's still going. No, she's over. Right, disarm before we get any closer. Perfect. Okay. Let's take her back up. Oh. Arm. Up we go. She is so light and she's so delicate when she takes off that I think, oh, there we are. I'll give her a load of positive pitch. And as soon as I do, she just she just wants to uh, wants to flip. But I suppose I suppose I'm actually in acro mode. Uh, rather than in in Horizon, we'll soon see. So taking her out a little bit. Sorry if this uh, if you can't see her very well. I want to give her a little bit of uh, a little bit of room to uh, to move and to manoeuvre. And as you're flying her around, she's very very light, as I said. But as soon as you you go to give her a lot of a lot of punch. Yeah, I'm in acro mode. Perfect. That's why I'm finding it a bit difficult. <laughs> right, okay, that's no problem. That's good though, difficult is good. Difficult is good. And she banks so easily as well. So she, you're flying her around and you're accelerating her and then you give her a little bit of a bank and that's it, she... Yes, acro mode. Sorry. And then as you're giving her a bit of a bank then she just flies around and then she... 
Yeah, and then she just brings up such a tight corner. It's it's awesome. It really is awesome. Oh, a little bit too close to the ground. Disarm. I've got to remember, see, I'm so used to flying these not very... Well, I wouldn't say not very responsive quadcopters, but not as responsive as this guy. And as soon as I go to push forward, as soon as I go to give her a lot of, uh, a lot of positive pitch, then uh, I've got to be prepared to take her up to an altitude. Or I've got to be prepared to actually move her quickly so that she can, so that she does have the ability to flip her, a bit like that. Because I don't want to stop her from doing what she wants to do in acro. Oh yes, I'm liking this a lot. You know, the more and more I fly these FPV racers, and I've been flying them a lot on my own recently, just so that I can get into, get to grips with them, and get to grips with the different modes. Oh, battery one is gone. Let's land her. Disarm. I would have tried to bring her back, but I couldn't. So let's disarm her. Let's turn off the transmitter. Actually, let's take her back to the mat and replace this battery, because I've got to sort out the FPV cam as well. So there's one battery out, there's the other battery in. I think that battery is balanced quite well. I'm going to keep that, the new one, to where the old one was. Now how are we looking? We've got, has it picked up the frequency? Yes it has, perfect. We're bound, we're armed, let's take her up. Oh yes! <laughs> Little bit more of a screaming start there, finding my confidence level. Come on little whoop. Oh, these are so much fun, and they're great for beginners as well. Well, the, 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 the more of the toy grade ones, I would say, are great for beginners. I've been flying for a few years, and I'm finding this a little bit tricky, but also very fun. <laughs> so there is uh, there are positive points, and to, to get in something like this is that you have to be aware of how it flies. I mean, you have to be aware of how this flies. You have to be aware of how quick to move these, these analog sticks as well, if you want her to... to uh, to complete successful acrobatics and it's something that I'm getting a grips with as you can see it's not something I'm good at but it's something I'm getting a grips with so give me a little bit more time oh and there's a heron flying there <laughs> random observation of the morning and I like it I do I like it oh a little bit ah oh, see I've got to push more power and then acro oh let's test these little coreless brushed motors out then let's bring her back down a little bit She's remarkably stable as she's falling. Normally with a lot of these mini whoops, as, as you bring them down and you sort of decrease the, the throttle uh, quite rapidly, she cut, they bring themselves down and then they, they sort of spiral out of control. Well, this one didn't. That's quite nice. Okay, three, two, one. Let's take her up. Oh, bless her. <laughs> Not an amazing amount of power there at all, but at the same time, enough for the size and the weight of the quad cop. This is very light. This is very nimble, moves incredibly well. Oh, yes. Oh, didn't, ha didn't, she did take back off. Okay, I've got to get so much better at this. But still, as I say, it's a learning curve. And I'm pretty sure at this point now, maybe this battery is, is dying a little bit as well. She's got really she is incredibly nimble and it's so, it's so nice to fly a quad that as you are flying her she's sort of teaching you a little thing or two oh and we're down that's the next battery out okay let's change this battery as i was saying it's so nice to fly a quad that she's teaching you things rather than you thinking oh you know this this flight is going really well and it looks really good on camera it's nice to have somewhere or something that as you're flying her around you're thinking, right, okay, I'm going to try doing this manoeuvre and try doing that manoeuvre. And uh, and she just basically turns around and kicks you in the butt and says, no, 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 nice try, sunshine. You know, and I like that. I really do. Okay, let's rebind this transmitter. Armed. Are we still recording? Yeah, we're still recording. Good, let's go. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, this is wonderful. This is really good fun. If you're, I, I mean, I'm going to say something here now. If you're considering getting into FPV racing like I am, and if you're considering brushing up your skills and honing your, your flying so it's not just 
all about the the toy grade and the hobby grade copters and the professional grade copters if you want to get into the fast paced um the fast paced racers then i would most certainly do not discount this guy the Ishin qx 65 oh this is i was going to be using the flying frog from now on as my little go-to learning fpv racing quad but this guy this guy is remarkably good and i think i will learn a lot more from this guy than i would from the flying frog even though the flying frog has flying frog has acro ooh, oh see i'm not doing it quick enough there we are that's better oh yeah Ooh, that was a little bit too much beside then here we go well what do i think this is a beautiful little copter. So, I'm new to, um, when I say new, I think I've done about two or three flights uh, in Acro, and it's with very different copters. A lot, the, the other one I tried was 120 mil, and I've also done Acro in 250 mil. And it also feels a little bit different in that, si in that size quad, I think, because I'm very aware the quad's a lot larger, so I'm going to throttle up before I, I uh, throw it into any sort of acrobatics. And I do think that when you're flying a small one like this, you think to yourself, oh, it's going to flip around really easy and then take back off. That's not necessarily the case. Um, now, what I would say is if you are, uh, like myself, a beginner to FPV racing quads of this particular calibre, uh, then I would say, great, this is the guy for you. Absolutely. I do firmly believe that. Now, at, at any point, he has not given me any cause for concern. Uh, what I would say is annoying is just the uh, length of time on these batteries. It's about two and a half, three minutes per battery, which isn't terrible because you get six. I brought four with me. You know, uh, so all in all, we've had a long flight. We've had a, a little bit over what we would get from one battery in a medium-sized quad. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, but at the same time, it's quite annoying because you just get into the swing of it. Oh, and you've got to bring it down change the battery take it back up uh, but obviously I, I suppose you can get bigger capacity batteries I'll have a little look and see what I can do there now I will be doing some learning to fly acro videos uh, just more so anything more so that I can track my progress but if anybody out there is going to hopefully learn to fly then you may want to have a little look at those they, they may help they may not they may hinder I hope they don't but uh, they may help but yeah certainly especially having this set up on my controller a transmitter that I'm used to is beautiful at no point did I feel oh this transmitter is a little bit alien because I've used this transmit and bound it to so many other quadcopters that it is just well it is my transmitter you know it is my favorite one out of all the other ones that I have um all in all though folks yeah I got a lot of cleaning up on this little guy to do but I tell you what it's a massive thumbs up for this guy absolutely thank you little Sheen, for putting up with my terrible acro skills there we are folks thank you ever so much for watching and listening I've been JD you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please like and subscribe hello and welcome to all the new subscribers I hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends happy flying